Hey guys, welcome back. Last time I showed you in part one and two how to do this sofa. Now, for this next part, you're gonna be attaching the seat and the back and the sides. You have two options for this. The first option is, is you cover this with fabric like this, and then you have your wood showing, which would just be the white paint in there and then that's how that would be and you would press it right in there this has to be sanded because the paint is a little thicker than I anticipated on that so you would have that and then you would have a white side or you just have a fabric side so that's all it is that you have to do if you want this here then you would stop your fabric right up here so you would just take the fabric and you would stop it right there and then mix it together and then this would be white and then that would be the side. I personally like the fabric going all the way down to the edge. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so that I have it the right size, I'm gonna use this little board of mine as a measurement. Sorry about the noise in the background, I have my grandson today. Okay, so now that I've got that cut, I'm gonna go ahead and push this down in here like that. It doesn't have to be all the way down because you have an eighth inch to work with. And then I'm gonna pull it like that. And then I want to put mine just barely underneath of here. Sorry, I didn't realize I was out of the camera. Let me show you that real quick. So you're putting it all the way down here, then you're folding it over and then you're gonna go ahead and cut it where you want it. Now you can end it right there or you can go over just a tiny bit. So for me, I'm gonna go over just a little bit. And you wanna cut two exactly this size. All right, now once you have them both the same size, then you wanna go ahead and put some hot glue right in here making sure you're getting the edges very very well try not to gall up the end down there at the bottom too much though then this has a fluffy side and a furry side I'm gonna put the furry side down because I don't want it to be so much Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bead of glue right along here, right along the outside edge. All right, so now once you have that overhanging, I actually have a tiny bit more than I would like to have overhanging, so I'm going to cut that off. And I didn't paint the bottom of mine. If you want to paint yours, you can. I figured it's the bottom, and nobody's going to be turning it upside down and look under there. Unless somebody's cleaning for dust bunnies, they're not going to see it. Now I'm just using the scissors to press it down because it's hot right there and I don't want to burn my finger. All right, it's cooled off enough. All right, so then that's what that should look like. Now again, if you want to add the wood wherever it went to, you can do that, but you need to do that beforehand. Now it's got fuzzies all over it, but you would put that on the outside and that would be white and then it would just fit right in there and it would come flush even with that. 
You want to repeat that process here. Okay, now you want to apply glue here. And you want to put the back right down in there. Push it all the way down and you should see a little bit of wood at the very, very back top. That's supposed to be there like that. Let that cool. Okay, then you want to repeat that process for down here on the bottom. Try not to get so much glue near the edge um, because the glue you put in the middle will spread out into the edge and I don't want it to come up on it where you're seeing it. Okay, now there should be beads closer to one side than the other. Okay, this part goes toward the back where the beads are closest to the front. And then you're just going to press that down in there just like that. And there you have your little tiny sofa bench. Now this one I painted in a rush, so it's not the best paint job. You can do better, I'm sure. But there it is, that's what I've done. And there it is all set up. And there you go. You can put it side by side or wherever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and for the next part I'm going to be making a little hassock for that little sofa bench. So click that bell to get notified and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.